have arrived in BGC and it's like it's such a cool area a few people recommended this to us and we can already <laughs> see why we can understand why you yeah. said we should come here thank you so much Hi, Dean. Hi. thank you so much so I've just checked out of Spin Hostel this morning. The manager there, Don Don, was nice enough to get us a transfer to the airport and the, so nice of them to do that. And the cool little uh, minivan there, which was much nicer than catching a trike. Um, we just got onto our tiny little toy Air Swift uh, plane with its little propellers. Someone was telling us the other day that he felt like P. Diddy when he was walking up on yeah. this plane because it feels like a private jet. Private jet, just <laughs> with, with 20 of our friends here. And I think that literally only holds about like 30 people, so yeah, it's, it's not, pretty small. Yeah. Um, but the plan is today, we are heading to Manila. We don't really have much planned when we get there, but we'll figure that out and you'll follow along and see what we get up to. <laughs> absolutely freezing though. I don't know what it is, but inside when we landed then we had to get off onto a bus and that was absolutely freezing. And then now we're in the terminal waiting for our bags, or waiting for one bag, and it's like freezing again. Manila, why are you doing this to us? It's so warm outside though, so that is a positive because it's not raining here, but it has been in El Nido. We've got a really cool place to stay at tonight. Um, I think we might have to wait a couple of hours before we check in though, so we're gonna go to the uh, plaza right next door and wait to hear from our Airbnb host. It took us about an hour to go four kilometers from Manila Airport because of the traffic. So it's crazy. so crazy here. So we're a little bit early for our um, to check into our places. We thought we stayed three nights here in the area that we're in. It's called Makati, which is like a it's the uh, it's the upmarket uh, <laughs> hipster spot, as some of you guys have said that we're hipsters. So come to a place called Tout Le Jour, <laughs> and we've so got funny. a egg sandwich. A uh, couple of couple of coffees, a bagel, and a caramel chocolate Danish thing yeah. for 520 pesos, which is our incredibly healthy yeah. <laughs> Manila lunch. First Manila lunch. Awesome and completely unhealthy <laughs> lunch slash snack, whatever you want to call that. There, that caramel thing was so good. Eh? Oh, it was amazing. Um, so we're now we're now place now. This is our new Airbnb for the next few nights in Manila. We just met up with our host Mick, who was like super cool. Mm -hmm. That whole process was so. This room actually is really really cool. We'll um, probably show you tomorrow because we're gonna do a. We're gonna just gonna basically drop our bags and we're going back out. We're gonna go and check out an area called BGC. Bonificio Global City, which is a bit of a mouthful, so everyone just calls it BGC. It's a really cool, trendy sort of vibe. We think we're just gonna head there, we're just gonna go and we don't really know much, but we know it's a cool place to hang out, so we're just gonna go and sort of just see what the whole vibe's about. Let's do it. It's such a cool area. A few people recommended this to us and we can already <laughs> see why. We can understand why you yeah. said we should come here. As you can probably see behind us, one thing I forgot to mention this morning is that this area, much like Georgetown and Penang where we went recently, is also really popular for its street art, which is so cool. This one back here is a 10... 10 stories. 10 story high, like... It's huge. Full art thing. <laughs> full art full thing. Full art thing. It's so cool. <laughs> I really, really love street art. If you haven't seen that Georgetown video, I'll link it up here so you can see, but um, we're going to walk around and try and find a few more. But we also want to go and get some lunch somewhere, so we're just going to sort of, we're going to wander. We've got a few loose plans, but just yeah. come along and we'll see where we go. So as you may have picked up by the fact that we're both wearing jumpers is by our standards it's quite cold today. In fact a couple of locals have told us that they think it's cold here as well at the moment. 
but it's still 28 degrees but it definitely does not feel like 28. So this BGC area is actually the financial sort of capital I think we think of Manila but today is a Sunday so it's obviously not as busy on a work level but we're hoping it's sort of um, more of like that casual coffee shop sort of vibe anyway which walking around we can already tell that it is but you can see it's a lot of like it's a lot of high rises and a lot of like uh, upmarket condos and stuff. way to lunch we've been walking around for like 15 20 minutes and we've decided to go to a chicken place which won't surprise no surprise <laughs> won't surprise people um, and this place is just like it's got so much character there's like all these restaurants and bars and cafes with like awesome logos and stuff and it's almost like European eh? it's almost European like the the buildings are so cool and it's just so different from Makati where we've been staying yeah it's cool to like explore a little bit further and yeah I'm into it. I'm enjoying it. And so this is like a, a we don't even know a park maybe? Oh yeah, this is a cool park. Like just random it's almost like a roundabout in the middle of the road. So the place we're going to is called Gringo. It's it's come really highly rated um, as a great spot to like get good chicken. I'm not sure if they do like inner style, the local style, or just in general, but that's what we're craving. It's not one of the one of the like cool spots that we just talked about, but um, yeah, like I said, comes well rated, so we're gonna jump in and try and see what the food's like anyway. Even for like a, a smaller like fast foody style place, it's definitely still like a sit down restaurant and it is cool. Like there's tiles, there's like a container ship, there's like cool hanging lan lanterns and lights and everything as well. So it seems like everywhere around here there's like a really, really good vibe. So this looks amazing. We got ourselves a half chicken. What, what spice did it have on it? Like Latino spice. Southern Latino, yeah. Oh. And we got some French fries, some white rice and some buttered corn. Well, it turns out looks can be deceiving. That might not look cool from the outside, but the inside was awesome and the food was like absolutely spectacular. Don't want to beef that up too much. We'll chicken that up too much. We sorry. <laughs> but that was such good value, really tasty. He's popping out behind me. Really tasty and great flavors as well. So, I mean, so satisfied what right now. Ten out of ten. <laughs> 11 out of 10. So now we're going to try and walk to, uh, I think it's called like the high street. It's like the main sort of area with like some little shops and everything. And it sounds like there's a lot more street art and a really cool place to go and check out. Here we go. Wrong one. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> You're pointing at Jamba Juice. Krispy Kreme. <laughs> just arrived at the Bonificio High Street area and it looks like it's a really cool little spot there's like it's lined by like normal like air-conditioned shops on either side and then there's like this concrete bit through the middle where there's like little markets and stalls and like stuff for sale and like food to buy there's like a theater set up here or something I don't really know I think it's like three blocks worth with some roads separating it but we we're just talking about like how different it feels it doesn't feel like the Philippines for us as soon as we walked out here we were both like it reminds us of Melbourne or like Sydney sort of vibe which yeah I mean we didn't expect it but I'm so pleased that that we've come and you guys recommended it so I've been drinking a lot of coffee and you guys will keep telling us we're drinking the wrong stuff <laughs> <laughs> so we're walking through here and we found the local bar local. Baraco or ba Baraco? Baraco, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna see what it's all about. Baraco is a tough guy, you know. <laughs> like you, huh? Like me. <laughs> you got but, bigger muscles than me. But she's tougher. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How it how smells really nice. Like yeah. Tasty. I don't know. Strong or? No, that's really good. It is, it's, um, it's like bitter, but it's nice. It's nice and strong sort of brew. And we love your branding as well. We like, we like good branding. 
Well, that was a shame. I got to try the coffee, but they don't have any ground beans, which we were going to buy some because it's such a good price to get that local stuff. We were going to buy some, but sadly they don't have any of the ground stuff, which is what we need for while we're traveling. So, bit of a bugger, but um, yeah, really nice guy, really friendly. Just look, looking how cool this spot is. So we're not going to get a Bailey's ice cream now, but we 100% will be later on. We've decided we're going to wander around for a little bit more, hang out close to this area, and we're definitely going to come back and try and get some food a little bit later on. <laughs> like a Viking drinking this thing. How cool is that? So we've been walking around for a couple of hours, but I think we're just gonna stop, enjoy our little Viking goblets of beer, do a bit of people watching before we can go back and get the Bailey's ice cream because we just can't stop talking about it. Come back and we've got the we've got the vanilla Baileys and the chocolate one, which I've already tasted. <laughs> can wait. Honestly, it tastes just like like that first sip of Baileys is exactly what it tastes like. It's so delicious. Oh yeah. Um, it's been a really cool day exploring like a funky area of Manila. Over the next coming days, we'll do a little bit. We're going to mix it up a little bit. We've got some cool plans and stuff that we're going to get up to, and a bit of history and some walking tours and stuff as well. So be sure to check back for those. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.